Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of April. What do we have for Virgo for the month of April? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Virgo for April? What do we have for April? Ooh, sun. The sun is extreme happiness, bliss. You're free. Just to be yourself. Happy, a warm, warm place. Um, it's very uh, high energy time. Positive. Uh, it's a new day, a new beginning. Maybe there's a breakthrough. Um, vibrating very highly. Okay, this is extreme happiness when you get the sun card. This is beautiful. This is a new day. Okay, it's a new you. It's it's a um, happy time. Okay, this is a happiness. Extremely happy. So you may be coming into something that makes you very, very, very happy. It's it, it, look at look at these. They're looking up, and it's just so beautiful. Whatever this is, it's it's. Uh, Warm. It's a very warm energy. You may be shining. You may be shining very brightly. And, you know, uh, emitting like a very warm vibration. You know, very happy. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles reversed is... unfaithful no plan not following through I don't know if you're dealing with this person or if it's you being lazy <laughs> it's laziness that's no plan not following through irresponsible could be dealing with somebody could be you I don't know this is irresponsible um, unfaithful discontent so missing an opportunity or not interested so there's there, somebody is not interested or, or not seeing an opportunity for love you notice that's the ace of cups right there it's being missed somebody is focusing on uh, a past relationship or they're focusing on a lost relation or focusing on something that has hurt them a third party there's definitely a third party here they're focusing on everything but love so they're missing an opportunity or they're they're not wanting it I don't want this you know not seeing not seeing or not taking the opportunity so there's an opportunity for love here that is not being taken okay it's not being taken it's like it's being refused Somebody is refusing an opportunity for love. This person, you know, the pay, the Knight of Pentacles reverse is somebody that is unfaithful. Mm, or they're not qualified for the job. Mm, don't want to give up my stability. Therefore, it's like sacrificing love. Somebody may be sacrificing love for money. chariot reversed emotions all over the place it's definitely a very emotional time but this first card is happiness so there is an opportunity for happiness but you have to see it you have to take it you have to take the opportunity there's an opportunity that isn't being taken if somebody is stalling, they're procrastinating, they can't find their discipline or their willpower to move forward. It's like there's there's no long term plan or there's no there's a lack of willpower, there's a lack of discipline. I don't want to deal with the opposition. So I mean somebody that's having a hard time having a hard time finding success and finding happiness because of their lack of ability to take control. There is an opportunity for love that is being ignored. It looks like it's being ignored. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with a Cancer. Could be. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or a Leo. There is definitely an opportunity for extreme happiness here. There is. There is. But there's also a lack of... I don't want to deal with this. In hiding behind a mask. You know, I don't want to deal with the... 
I don't want to deal with the uh, confrontation. I want to deal with the opposition. Oh, there's double loyalty, needing to make a choice, avoiding the truth, blocking your, somebody is definitely blocking their emotions, blocking their emotions. It's like, you know, there's an opportunity for happiness here. It's clear. It's very clear. There's a big, bright opportunity, but this is blocking the truth, procrastinating, you know, in a lot of mental turmoil, tur torn between two options. Two paths, two people. So we have somebody here that is stuck. Really, really stuck. It's like they want this opportunity. They know it can make them happy. But no willpower. Whew. Could The thing is, is if you follow your heart, if you follow your heart, you could lose uh, a lot of money. You could lose stability. You could lose your home. You know, something like that. Now, the Ten of Pentacles reversed is marrying for money or marrying just for the stability. I don't see any love. There's a missed opportunity for love here right now. Ten of Pentacles reversed is um, a financial disaster. Losing it all. Somebody may be losing or fear of losing it all. This is bad business or collapse of an em empire. So something could be coming to a stop. Coming to a dead stop. Somebody has been blocking. They've been ignoring the truth. Ignoring the facts. That it's time to move forward. Somebody, We have somebody that really lacks willpower here. They know there's another opportunity for love. Maybe they've been being unfaithful. They see this. It's so big. There's a big opportunity for happiness here. It's, it's very clear that this is a big opportunity. But then if you do it, and this could be moving to a warmer place or something like that, or to a better place that's going to make you happy. But if you do it, you lose something big. Because the Ten of Pentacles reversed is... Um, Huge financial loss, put it that way. This is an unstable business or an unstable home life. Um, it's not stable, but it's it's secure in another sense. It's it's uh, emotionally secure, but it's not fine. And maybe it's financially secure, and you don't and you're staying put because you don't want to lose it. And this could be a job or a home. This is an establishment. Okay, this is an establishment that is not going to be successful. It's not. It, right now it may be, but it's not going to be. This is a financial disaster, and this is a disaster waiting to... There is a, some sort of disaster. There could be a financial disaster. You may be headed towards a financial disaster. Maybe you've been trying to avoid it, um, but I don't know. Five of Cups. This is grieving over a loss. I'm sorry. This focus on the third party again. Third party here. Third party here. So we got some. We have somebody here that is focusing on, you know, a third party situation when there's another opportunity for love. There's another opportunity for love here that is being missed or being ignored. And whether this is love, the love of your life or a new job, there is something here that is more emotionally fulfilling that is being ignored. And it's being ignored because of money, because of assets, because of uh, social pressure, because of money. But there is a golden opportunity. We have a golden opportunity waiting for you to grab it. It leads to permanent success. It leads to long-term stability. You know, but you have to go through them doors. You have to walk that path. It's just waiting for you to grab it. So you are going to be presented with an opportunity that you could really uh, grow with. It could be something permanent. It could be something long-term. It could make you very, very, very happy. But the only way that you're going to get this opportunity is if you open your eyes, take the mask off, because this is both hiding behind a mask, and let go of whatever 
stability it is that you think is going to last that really isn't going to last. You need to face your fears. You need to stop worrying about everybody else and focus on what your heart wants. So I feel like it's really time for you to go. I feel like you've been stalling and you've been stagnant and you've been staying put in a situation blocking your own truth because of financial, some sort of financial reasons, financial stability or whatever. But it's going to fall apart anyway. You're just biding your time. So I see a level of discontent and a lot of sadness over wanting something more, wanting, you know, that, that, um, fairy tale per se. And it's like, you have an opportunity for that, but you're going to have to, uh, come up with a plan and follow the plan. It's like, there's a lack of planning here. There's lack of setting goals. If you, if you want something better and you're dreaming of something better, make a plan and follow through. So I feel like um, there's a lot of sulking or sadness or grieving over, you know, uh, the home life or the job or something that just re really isn't fulfilling. It is very unfulfilling, right? It's just not happiness. It's not. But this opportunity of happiness is is like begging you to grab it. It's like, you see me, you know I'm here. Come on, let's go. You know, that kind of thing. So I think you've been blocking your own happiness by refusing to uh, follow your bliss, refusing to take action, refusing to get in the driver's seat and take control of your life. It's going to take some perseverance and it's going to take hard work and it's going to take discipline. But you got to, nobody can do it but you. So you do have a big opportunity waiting for you to just take that mask off, rip it off, and follow your heart. So you've got a golden opportunity. You're going to be given an opportunity to uh, go down another path. You are definitely going to be given that opportunity, okay? It's like giving the money even. There could be an increase in money. You may be given some money or be given some sort of uh, gift it's like you're going to be given a gift and this gift could help you. This is freedom. This is freedom to break free from this situation that has caused you so much despair. Okay. So I feel like you have somebody that is going to be handing you, I don't know if it's money or a new job or a new offer. It's like you're in, in, in it's, it's like they're going to put it right in your hand. They're going to say, here you go. Oh my God, this is very, very, very fortunate, okay? It's very fortunate. So you are about to uh, see a very positive change. Uh, things are about to change in a very positive way. You may find yourself at the right place at the right time. You could even win the lottery, okay? You could even win the lottery. Um, this is a wheel of fortune, and this is a big win, so some, I'm not sure if you play the lottery or whatnot, you could win the lottery. It gives you the money to break free from the situation that you are so unhappy in. Okay. But I don't know if it's not the lottery, this could be you getting a gift from somebody, a big payout of some sort. This is, this is fortune. Uh, this is very positive. This is good luck. Okay. So, um, this is an opportunity to change your life because this is the wheel of life. This is You're going to be given the opportunity to change your direction this month. This will be difficult for you because you will have to... This may involve moving, moving your home with a Ten of Pentacles reverse or moving jobs or something. And it's probably a little difficult. It is definitely difficult. I feel like you are going to... This is going to be a painful, stressful decision. But this opportunity is too good. It's too good to pass up. So I feel as though you're going to take it. I feel like you're going to take the opportunity and you're going to change your direction. So I think there is a change in direction here. Um, this is very positive. This is destiny. So there's a cycle of your life that is coming to, to an end. And you are about to begin a new one. And this new one is going to be very prosperous. It is. It's going to be prosperous. It's going to be abundant. And it's going to make you extremely happy. This may bring you to a warmer place where there's, you know, where there's a lot of warmth, where there's more heat, where there's more 
even passion. It's just, it's what you've been dreaming of. I feel like this is what you've been dreaming of. Um, yeah, so Virgo, I feel like you could have a big win this month. So if, you, if you're interested in playing the lottery, I suggest you do so. Um, there is somebody that is basically going to put some, it feels like they're going to put money in your hand. They're gonna, or they're going to give you something that could make you a lot of money, okay? This is a very fortunate change, of course, okay? Which brings you this long-term stability that it feels like that is going to change your life. It's going to change your life for the better. It's going to help you to get out of this sad situation that you have been in. You've been procrastinating and stalling and unable to uh, accept your own reality but now it's like you know this this opportunity is so bright and it is so big and it is so beautiful that you know there is probably isn't anybody who wouldn't take it okay um so yeah this is this is freedom this is going to help you to break free the sun card is free this is a new life great health very positive so i see a positive change coming for you where you are given an opportunity <laughs> and this is this is this is like uh, meant to happen okay this is meant to happen at this time this is this may be something that you sensed was coming that, that you sensed was coming or some or a psychic or a healer or a tarot reader told you was going to happen okay I feel as though your gut may have told you that this was coming yes it is this is the high priestess is also about realizing your goals listening to your gut so you may you may be this opportunity may show up you use your intuition and you follow your gut and you just go for it your gut leads the way. Your intuition leads the way. Your intuition could cause you to have a big win as well. So if you're playing numbers, go by your gut. Don't go by what anybody else tells you. Go by your gut. So Virgo, I feel as though you have been in a situation that was... Uh, sad it was sad but I think it's you are about to experience a, a new beginning you're given some sort of gift uh, somebody's gonna give you a gift or you're gonna win you're gonna win something or you're gonna get a gift that gives you the opportunity to break free from this sad situation whatever it is good luck 